Hey guys, this is Vijana Power TV and here I'm with my brother friend. So he's gonna tell you everything about this event. Look for it. Hey brother, how you doing? I'm doing very well, thank okay. you very much mm -hmm. for having me. Yeah, okay. Yes. What is all about about this event? Yes, so today we are at uh, BCTC. This is our Cooper campus and um, we are the activity is uh, called Cafe Avec Mukate. Mm -hmm. Alright. So it's um, it's a day that we bring out different organizations mm -hmm. in the community to uh, meet students and to provide their resources to the um, campus, to our different campuses. So one month we have it at Cooper mm -hmm. and uh, the next month it's going to be at Newtown so we change it each and every month but it's once a month. Um, an opportunity for students to you know try uh, cafe which mm -hmm. is uh, coffee, uh, avec which is with in French, okay. um, and uh, avec mukate. Mm -hmm. Mukate is is bread, bread in, yeah. in, <laughs> in Swahili. Yeah. So it's a mix of you know Spanish, um, French, and uh, and Swahili, which shows really the diversity of um, of our, our campus, campus BCTC. Oh. You you see students for from all across of of life. You know students that speak Arabic, mm -hmm. students that, that speak uh, Nepali. You know, um, and um, that represents, you know, BCTC. Uh, so that's that's part of the the event, and um, uh, it's between 10 usually, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And um, you can come enjoy, um, you know, a tea, uh, coffee, you know, bread, and sometimes we have video games. Today we had video games. I don't yeah, know. If yeah, 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 uh, yeah. We are. Yeah, we're gonna see those people are playing uh, games there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Mario, so Mario's, all those kind of stuff. Soccer, FIFA. Mm -hmm. So you can come. Maybe like between classes, mm -hmm. you know, students can enjoy um, yeah, some relaxation. Relax, you forget yeah. your homework. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for real. Yeah. So maybe just for ten minutes, mm -hmm. and then you're you're back in class. You're all learning right. hard. You know, um, that's 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 the idea a little bit. All right, thank you so much, yeah. brother. I think uh, all people they understand yeah. what it's all about. All right, so you guys, let's go and see. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I see here it's common good. So what is all about? And common good is an after school and summer mentoring program, and it is in North Lexington. And common good caters to um, kindergartners through 12th grade. And the students come in, and we focus on four pillars, and those pillars are leadership, education, recreation, and spiritual formation. So for leadership, the students are um, working on uh, things and working with organizations that help build their community for themselves. And then as far as education, they come in and they get 45 minutes of educational time. So they read for 20 minutes, and then whatever homework that they have, they get homework with that. And then for recreation, we have art club and cooking club yeah. and um, like Urban Ninja. And then for spiritual formation, once a week, we um, get into the Bible and read stories and just share with the kids um, about God. And um, throughout the whole week, we kind of try to incorporate um, community as well. And um, like I said, help the students be leaders in their own community, in their family. Um, we also have activities where the parents get involved in Common Good, but also the community as well, so that as a whole family, they're uplifting and building their community. Um, if someone decides to mentor with us, they would come once a week, Monday through Thursday, 2.30 to 6. Yeah, and for those who want to be in uh, in your in your group, this Common Good, so, well, I mean, what's the rules supposed to follow? Yeah. Um, so we ask that a mentor volunteer just once a week so that they're building relationship with the kids but also just making sure they're showing the kids that I'm here once a week and the kids know that they care. Um, if a mentor comes like once a month and it's inconsistent, it's not good for the kids. So they need that consistency so that kids know like, hey, they're here, they care for you and they are um, supporting and encouraging the things that they're doing. Okay, so uh, how many group of kids do you have in uh, your... We have... Yeah, in your group, it is common good. Common good. Mm -hmm. We have 76 kids. Oh, 76 kids. Yeah. Uh, which age? Like. So the age is kind of like wide range, um, from like six mm -hmm. to like 18. 18. Yeah. So kindergarten all the way to 12th grade. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for listening. So, enjoying with common good.
we are here now. So what's the last word you can tell the people? Um, come hang out with us. The kids are really cool and you learn a lot from them because they have really cool stories and they're just really cool kids. All right. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> hey guys, this is Vijana Power TV. Hey bro, what's your name? My name is Philip Manga. I see a lot of stuff about your project and a lot of stuff. What is all about and what the name is called? Yeah, uh, so absolutely. Uh, like I said, the organization is called Common Good. But we are a mentoring program that serves uh, kids in North Lexington and uh, neighborhood is uh, Castlewood, uh, East End, and North Lexington, and you know just the entire North. Okay. Yeah, so I serve there as a youth program director, uh, but I also coach Brown Station. So you know I'm a coach at Brown Station soccer. So. That's something that I love doing as well. I have a passion for that community as well. I'm also a fashion activist. Uh, that's just the way I like to present myself and that's also one way I can express myself as well. And also to give the powerless and the vulnerable ones uh, a voice, you know, and just kind of like what you guys are doing, you know, and sharing the light and that's what life is all about. All right, yeah. thank you so much, bro. And when did you start Common Good? Yeah, so Common Good is actually, I'm not the founder of Common Good. So Common Good has been existing for the last six years. Uh, and uh, and like I said, I've been with Common Good now for about two years, and this is my third year. Uh, and uh, so yeah, that's that's where I've been uh, this last two or three years or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. And it's been fun. Like I said, it's just about sharing light, you know, because I'm a firm believer that you get to learn from people that have been there before you. One thing that I enjoyed the most about Common Good is I say that I also coach soccer as a former college athlete. Uh, the reason why I always play football or soccer, whatever you want to call it, was definitely to give the powerless the voice and to give the vulnerable the opportunity or, a, or give someone a platform to be a place where they can dream beyond their own imagination. So that's why I'm always involved in things where it involves the community and progress in the community, especially, you know, uh, people that are close to my heart, which is the refugee communities and the immigrants, you know. And at Common Good, we don't serve refugees and immigrants, we serve everybody. So, you know, we have white kids, you know, black kids, Hispanic, and everybody in the neighborhood. So it's everybody, yeah. Like I say, if you're interested, you know, we love people to come out and, and definitely share the experience and teach the kids and the children, you know, how just to be people. You know, and, and uh, which kind of uh, education did you give for kids? So uh, most definitely our main thing in Common Good it is so our four components which is recreational which is just you know we want to provide a safe place for kids where they can just have fun and play every day yes. you know and then leadership which mm -hmm. is you know we have several projects that our students are definitely involved in like the North Lexington Latino Festival that's something mm -hmm. the Common Good my organization is in charge of and it's a students based organization you know they lead that project they get to handle everything Thing. They are in charge of every move, so that's one way we put them in a position where they can be leaders, you know, and then educational, every day at our program, from Monday to Thursday, we have about 45 minutes of homework time, you know, and that's when we need people from outside with whatever skills or talent that you have to come in and hang out with our students and teach them something and help them out with their homework, you know, and spiritual formation, of course, you know, and, and that's our component as well, which is we give the kids space where they can get to develop their spiritual um, attitude or their inner spirituality you know and just to yeah. give them that space to start creating their own path not to impose it on them like hey you have to be this you have to do that or you have to listen to that no we just want to provide a space where students can be comfortable mm -hmm. and and start learning ways to become people yeah, you know yeah. absolutely and that's what common good is all about like I say fun things and leadership and development and community coming together and making the world a better place all right that's just all about bro absolutely, yeah absolutely. thank you so much bro i'm yeah. so appreciate for your work yes. i know god is gonna bless you for things you are doing yeah. i think that's god is work yeah so absolutely, man. i very appreciate for you bro no most thank definitely, you so much man. vagina power i believe you guys will go far man you know and this is the light you're sharing you know yeah. and you guys keep tuning in man you know this is what the world is all about you know stay with vagina power and there might be an inspiration for you too moving forward if they can do it you can do it yeah, too as well too. and that's what the world is all about yeah all right thank you brother Thanks, all right it. absolutely yeah This is Vijana Power TV. Thank you for being with us online again. So I'm with my brother here. Brother, can you introduce yourself? Where are you from? What are you doing? And why you are here today? Huh? Yeah, my name is Eric Gamiji, and uh, I'm from Rwanda. Mm -hmm. So I'm here like as a KRM representative. I was invited by uh, Yamakumba Frank to come and table for my program that I do like at KRM, which is a youth mentoring program. Okay, all right. So, uh, what is all about about youth mentor uh, reprogramming? What's all about the youth mentoring program? 
much as our clients, our youth clients, we mentors outside of KRM, which is like the Lexington community. And then they work together for like a period of six months. And what they do is like helping these youth clients with homeworks, a tutoring, and take them to a lot of different games, you know. It's a kind of like a social integration program. We want our, you know, youth clients to not just stay in their houses, but to be a part of this community, Lexington community. Okay, yeah. I know that is very important. So, which age of kids they're supposed to come to your uh, that's program? The program is for high schoolers' kids, mm -hmm. but it can go up to 24 as long as you're not like a college graduate. Mm -hmm. So, pretty much in terms of age, we say like it's 15 to 24 years old. Okay, that's that's very great. You guys, this is KRM office, and welcome to the. KRM. So if you wanna you wanna get more about this program, so what can you tell them the last word for people who are interested to come in your uh, in this? Yeah, we have we have project. a lot of youth clients who are looking for mentors mm -hmm. to help them, you know, navigate to this like new culture. Mm -hmm. So we really, you know, want a lot of mentors to come to ours, and then if you kind of feel like you wanna have this volunteer opportunity of supporting this youth. Mm -hmm. Refugees, you're more than welcome to reach out to KRM. Uh, we have like a KRM website, but we go to KRM Lexington and then find like the volunteer opportunity. There's like a lot of you know, spots in there where you can just fit in and then help you with refugees. All right, thanks so much, guys, to meet you. So I'm so very appreciative for your work. Thanks Keep so doing, much. keep it up, bro. and we are here at BCTC. So. What's up? What's up? How are you? <laughs> uh, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm so glad to be here at BCTC. It's so fun like meeting all these students and from all different backgrounds and it's really cool today. Right. Yeah. Well, what's your name? My name is Meredith Wadlington and um, I work with an organization called Kentuckians for the Commonwealth. Um, we are a statewide nonprofit grassroots organizing group um, and I organized with the Central Kentucky chapter here in Lexington and surrounding counties. Um, we do all kinds of uh, community-based like grassroots work around issues and around voter empowerment. Um, right now we're doing a lot of voter-based work, voter engagement, um, because we have an election coming up in a couple of months. Yes. Our governor's race is not one that typically has a big turnout, so that's why we come to places like BCTC, UK, um, Let's try and bus terminal and table and talk to folks about the election because those are often places that the candidates or the campaign, like uh, or parties, tend to miss. Um, they they tend to use their resources going after like likely voters. So um, it's really fun to be here and just like talk to students who maybe didn't know there's an election this year, maybe didn't know they even um, had the right to vote in Kentucky. So, All right, that, that, that's cool. So today you are here for people. People want to vote, right? uh -huh. Yeah, registered to vote, and we also have, um, you know, we're one thing we're doing is passing out these voter guides. Um, it's a it's a material that like we produce um, at KFTC, the organization I work with, where we survey all the candidates and ask them questions about issues that we work on, such as racial justice and voting rights and clean energy, um, and publish their answers side by side. And sometimes it can be pretty hard to find information about the candidates, um, especially like auditor, like we're voting for auditor this yeah. year, like what do you, who even is that? So uh, you can learn about who's running for auditor like in our voter guide. Um, and then another thing that I'm talking to folks today about is the petition that you just signed, which is um, asking our governor to restore voting rights to people with felonies in their past. Um, Kentucky is one of the we're states in the country for um, voting rights and people, people with felonies. Um, Kentucky and Iowa are the only two states in, in the United States that if you have a felony on your record, you lose your vote, uh, your, your right to vote for the rest of your life. And the only way to get it back is through like an executive pardon. Um, and I don't think that's right. And I think that once you serve your time, then you should um, get your rights back, right? Like you're, yeah. you're a citizen again. Yeah. Um, and so that's an issue that we organize around is we work with a lot of people with felonies in their past and um, empower 
them to like tell their stories. We visit legislators and we build power here locally and across the state for this issue. So um, it's something we've been working on for a long time and hopefully we can get that passed soon. Because there's a lot of energy around this. Oh, okay. That's yeah. Good. So which age do you think? 17, 16, 18? 18, yeah. Yeah, 18. Actually, I just registered a student here who um, said I'm not 18 yet. And um, I said, well, when are you turning 18? And he said November 5th. And what do you know? The election is on November 5th. So he's turning 18 on election day. So I said, yeah, you have the right to vote if you're going to be 18 on election day. Um, so as long as you're 18 and you're a U.S. citizen, then you have the right to vote. Um, you don't have to have like a Kentucky driver's license or you don't have to have, you know, a permanent residency in Kentucky. It's just sort of like where you're living right now. If you have an address in Kensington, you can register. So. All right, so thank you so much. And yes, you of course. It was lovely meeting you. Thanks for being okay, here. So all Kentucky for the last week for Kentucky yep. Power TV. Or Yana Power or TV. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um, <laughs> um, youth Power. Yeah, yeah you. Power. That's, that's the meaning of the kind of power. Hay uh, café, té y pan dulce aquí si quieren. ¿Qué te pasó, papito? ¿Cómo estás? Estoy muy bien, muy bien. ¿Cómo estás? Ah, bien, 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 amigo. Ah, ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Minto Nueve Mesa de los Santos. A servirles. Bien, 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 todo, bien, todo. Ah, ah, what is all about this so, event? Today uh, we have a café avec Mgate, right? It is uh, three different languages. Spanish, French, and Swahili, okay. uh, but it translates to coffee with bread, right? Mm -hmm. um, the purpose of this, uh, my coworker and I, Yamakumba, uh, and Bayo and I, we, uh, we do this once a month, uh, Newtown, Cooper, um, and hopefully Town next semester. Mm -hmm. uh, but the objective of this is to bring a little bit of culture from different countries, right? Yes. So over here we got uh, some pan dulce that is traditional to like Mexico mm -hmm. and then we are complementing it with uh, coffee and tea on the side because it's like the, the event is called Café avec Mkate, exactly. Café avec Mkate. Exactly. Oh, okay, which um, is very good. But the main purpose of it, though, is to connect students, um, BCTC students, to outside organizations. Mm -hmm. So every month we have different organizations, either volunteer opportunities, work opportunities, or anything um, that the students may want to see. Uh, today we have um, KEFTC, which is Kentuckians for the Commonwealth. Yeah. They're focusing right now on registering students to vote, right? Because voting is very important. Yeah. And so we have folks here that are going to be able to um, facilitate that process. We also have Common Good Lexington, which is an organization here, super, super awesome organization that uh, helps out the youth of Lexington. Um, they're recruiting for uh, volunteers and everything like that. And we also have uh, Kentucky Refugee Ministries. Ministries. Very amazing, amazing, amazing uh, organization, nonprofit that helps so many people. And it's, um, they need all the help, right? Like yeah. all these organizations need yeah. help, but, um, but yeah. Um, I love doing this. Um, it's a lot of work going into it, but uh, one of the things that I really enjoy is the casual, I like, I like how casual it is. Mm -hmm. um, we have video games going on the side, we have yeah. music going on as well, yeah. and it's just fun seeing the students interact in ways that they never could in other events, right? Because like, how many events on BCTC have you gone where they have video games, yeah, you know? Yeah. Not much. Yeah, for real. So, uh, for people who want to enjoy with you to work together as a volunteer, mm -hmm. so they're welcome people or yeah. just... No, so it does take a lot to do this, right? So Yamakuma and I, we are the main persons that do this, but it takes so many people. Like you, earlier today, you were cutting bread. <laughs> yeah. And, and so we, we, I thank you so much for that. Um, little tiny things, right, that um, uh, we need, like, like hands, right? We just need hands. We need people that are willing to, like, put out, like, an hour or some of that other time. Maybe inviting people, letting people know that, hey, this event's going on, so more people can get some free bread. Um, eventually, what we want to do is have, because, you know, what we have right now is just bread. It's nice, it's a nice little breakfast, stuff like that, but um, eventually I would love for it to be like more like more food, you know? That way like students can get lunch. Oh. That way they don't have to like leave campus and stuff like that. They can just get some like food, food yeah. everything like that, you know? That's that's my goal, that's my dream for something like this to All right. be. Uh, thank you so much, brother. Yeah. I'm so very appreciative for you for to bring sure. people together, yeah. which is very important. So what's the last word you can t tell people uh, who are watching? Power. So we do this by, this is done by the community for the community you know always always about that you always got to put the community first and since you are part of the community you got to put yourself first too right all right thank you so much brother
Jana Power TV. TV.